Hey all, it's Josh coming back to you guys with another uh, hobby video here. So I just wanted to go over what I finished recently. So as you guys can see, I ended up getting my Great Beast finished. Um, so this model is from KZK Minis. And I really wanted to bring it to a tournament. Uh, so I ended up getting it done in time and got it into a list for uh, an MESBG tournament that I attended recently. So if you guys want to see how it did, be sure to check out those videos. But in the meantime, we'll just kind of do a quick like 360 here so you guys can see. It was a really fun mini to paint. There's a bunch of like little details and stuff that you guys can see. I think it turned out really well. I got my airbrush working the way it was it's supposed to be for him. So all the skin on him is airbrushed and everything else is once again done with the uh, Army Painter Speed Paint and the list of what paints went where and approximately how much the ratios were for mixing will be in the description. But yeah, overall, really happy with this guy he uh turned out really well and i had a good time playing him so yeah unfortunately this is the only model that i've done recently so i don't have anything else that's been completely painted to show off for you guys but i do have some upcoming projects to go over so let me grab those and we'll go over those and uh, I'll show you guys what's next on the docket here. Okay, so here is my upcoming project. So Dan and I are going to be attending an old world doubles tournament in about a month's time. And so I really want to get these done to have them in my list. So uh, once again, continuing the trend of Highlands Miniatures. This was a recent release, the Giant here. So just one thing I wanted to go over is I used the AK Primer for these models, um, for the white specifically. And the coverage on it was not great, as you guys can see here. Like there's this kind of splotching thing that happened. I don't know what that's about. So I know people really love the AK mini paints and I haven't had a chance to try too many of them, but um, so far they, they've been really good for me. Just the paints themselves, but the primer, um, yeah, I don't know if I would recommend using that just because again, you can see some kind of like discoloration here on his chest. Um, yeah, it just doesn't adhere and flow as well as uh, some other primers out there on the market. So that's the giant. And then here is the chariot. So the giant, I want to try airbrushing the skin. So that's why he was done in all white. And then this is my kind of typical uh, undercoat for doing army painter speed paints. So you guys can see it starts with a black and then we do mostly white over top of that. So we get basically just the really dark recesses that are black and then everything else is kind of white and it's been working really well for me. So um, I've been really enjoying that. And then here's the, the regular crew for it, as you guys can see. And then this is the model I'm going to be using for my Black Orc War Boss on the Chariot. And as you can see, I have added a wizard hat to him because that is one of the items that I really like using. So we will keep that trend going, even though he's gonna be on the Chariot. So uh, other than this hat, these models are basically the standard ones from Highlands Miniatures. I just added a shield from another kit here onto him. And then I also did some magnetizing on the chariot. So we have 
either the boss or we can swap him out for the two crew. And that will be what I'm going to be trying to do next. So yeah, as far as the orcs go and the chariot, um, it's going to be standard. I'll just try to do them with the army painter speed paint like I've done with pretty much all the other ones. And then, like I said before, the, the giant is going to be, I'm going to try airbrushing. So yeah, specifically the skin is what I want to get done on the giant here, like I said. So um, once I get this little back bit fixed up here, we'll be good to go with these guys and try out some new stuff because I haven't really used an airbrush that much. So um, it'll be really fun to give it a go and try my hand at something kind of complex and see how that plays out. And because of it, it's a giant, if it looks kind of weird, it's not that big of a deal because it doesn't have to be that realistic. So we will see if we can make it look good. Um, and then, yeah, as far as what's after this, I don't know. So <laughs> There will definitely be some more project videos coming and of course I'll update as stuff gets completed and as I decide what I want to do next. But this is what we have for now. So if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you guys again for some more hobby updates.